Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe, and today I'm gonna show you how to use some crutches. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. I had hip surgery recently, so I've had the pleasure of hobbling around on crutches for several, several weeks now, and Sometimes they're a little harder than you think they are, but let me start off with showing you how to get the right height for you. When you first get your crutches, the buttons here, which you can't see because they've got some cool game cocks over them, actually have height. So it starts off, you know, five, three, five, four, five, 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 six, and it's pretty accurate. But what you really want to do, the important part, is these should not actually be in your armpit. I think people get confused with that a little bit. Now, sometimes you can lean on them if you're talking to somebody, but while you're actually walking with the crutches, you don't want them pressing there because you have an axillary nerve that actually can get compressed if you put a lot of pressure on them for a long period of time, then you're gonna have arm issues after that. So you want to be able to get about two fingers in between the top of the crutch and your armpit. So when you're standing, if you can do that, that's about where you want it. You want to have just a slight bend in your elbows as well, because you can move the handles, but it doesn't have to be a big bend, just a slight bend. Because when you're walking with the crutches, you don't want them super close. You want them out to the side just a little bit, because that's gonna give you some more stability while you're walking. So once you have all that in place, you, get to the walking part and there's different types of weight bearing for people when they're doing crutches. Your non-weight bearing, you can be toe touch weight bearing which is about 20% of your body weight. You can be partial weight bearing and then weight bearing as tolerated where it's just kind of helping give you a little bit of balance. So the first one I'm going to show you is non-weight bearing and then we'll kind of progress from there. The first one is non-weight bearing. So if you're not allowed to put any weight on your leg, if you're kind of holding it up in the air, the crutches are gonna take pl the place of your right leg. So if my right leg was gonna go forward, that's when my crutches go forward. So you just bring them forward and kind of hop through. You wanna make sure you're not going far because you're gonna lose your balance. So it's just almost like a normal step when you go through. And you can also see my crutches are a little bit wider than my body because that gives you more stability. So you don't want them close, you want them out just a little bit, again, to give you that support and balance. The next one would be a toe touch weight bearing, which depending on your surgery is either really just your toes are touching down or your foot is actually flat on the ground, but toe touch is about 20% of your body weight. So some people will tell you, imagine that there's eggshells underneath your foot and you don't wanna crush them. So you're really just placing your foot down, but again, the, the crutches are taking on all of the weight. So the crutches are gonna follow that foot the whole time and take the place of actually putting the weight on that leg. So when my right leg goes forward, the crutches go forward. And I'm really just placing that foot down. I'm not really putting any weight on it, but I'm just placing it gently on the ground. Again, not taking a big step, just trying to take a normal step while you're walking. After you progress a little bit and you don't need to do the toe touch anymore and you're partial weight bearing or maybe weight bearing is tolerated but you still need a little bit of assistance, then you can go down to one crutch. When you go down to the one crutch, you want to put it on the opposite side. So it's going to follow the right side wherever it goes. So kind of like a cane is there to give you that support. So as my right goes forward, the crutch goes forward and I'm just stepping through. not leaning over onto the crutch. You're not leaning and just walking like this. You're still trying to be pretty upright and that crutch is just giving you a little bit of support, getting closer to being able to walk without anything. So there you have it. That's how to walk with some crutches. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you'd like to check out some other videos, go to AskDrJoe.com if you like the video click the like button and remember, be safe, 
have fun and I hope you feel better soon.